Replacing the chicken run roof is one of the very last things I have left to do from the February storm damage. We just had a really good hard rain this last weekend. Now that fall is coming on, it's nice to be through with this summer drought that we've been dealing with. That said, if I don't replace the roof, our chicken run is gonna be a big muddy mess. First, a little background. I did not design this chicken run originally to have a roof. I did protect our chickens from aerial predators by putting up chicken wire across the top. When I built the two roof sections, I built them on the ground, and then with the help of my dad and brother, we just lifted them right into place and secured them right over the top of that layer of chicken wire. The plastic panels were just too brittle. <laughs> Falling branches and clumps of ice that had frozen up in the trees just pulverized the roof. Every single panel has a puncture hole in it. I'll be replacing the plastic with metal panels. I'm not going to rebuild the roof the same way that I built it the first time. <laughs> It'd just be too heavy with the metal. So instead, I'm going to be removing one panel at a time and then cutting away the chicken wire from below as I go so I can reach up through to unscrew the next panel. Once all of the roofing panels are off, then I'll put the new metal ones up one at a time, just going back the other direction. <laughs> It may be possible for our chickens to fly up and out of the chicken run. Once I don't have the roof or the chicken mesh up there, hopefully they won't try it.
All right. Half the roof is off. One more half to go. This is taking a little longer than I thought it would. We'll see how far I get today. I may have to work on this tomorrow. It's the next day. Pulling old staples out of debris covered chicken wire was a lot harder and did take a lot longer than I thought it would. I was pretty fortunate in that falling debris from that storm only broke one small support brace. I replaced it, but the screws that had toenailed it in were bent and unscrewing bent screws is also not a really fun job. The new panels are green, just like the roof on our buck shelter. Interestingly, the roof over our chicken coop wasn't damaged in the storm. This material is stronger than the other material that I used for the chicken run. It's made by SunTuff and I'll put a link in the video description for you. We went with a solar gray to allow some sunlight into the coop while not 
turning it into a potential hot greenhouse during the summer months. Why didn't I use this material over the chicken run? It was a little more expensive and it was harder to get. Why don't I use this material now over the chicken run? I wanted to err on the side of caution and go just as durable as I could this time. Why don't I replace this roof with metal right now? I don't have to right now. It would be a very difficult job. And it is nice to let a little sunlight into the chicken coop. As long as I'm up here, I should probably rake down a little bit of this debris that's up on the roof. I saved the screws that I was pulling out of the roof. They've got these little rubber gaskets to help keep the roof watertight. I will have to be careful when I'm drilling my holes so that I just dig into the two by fours up there. It's too bad my first roof didn't work out. I was so proud of it. You'll have to check out the video. Take a little credit for something. Now let's get those panels up.
I am glad to be done with this project. Squeezing up through some of those crisscrossed braces on a ladder that was sometimes a little tipsy was not easy. It did go faster than yesterday though. We had time today, so Wendy and I just got back from Albeki Farms, a local place that has a Yupik apple orchard. The Melrose and Macintosh were in season this time. There's one apple in here that I specifically wanted to show you. It's two apples grown together. The apple blossoms somehow fused and both grew, but as a single fruit. This is a little more common with tomatoes, but obviously it can happen with apples too. It really does feel good to have this off my list of things to do. It's a relief to know that our chickens will be nice and dry this winter. Listen to that sound. That is the sweet sound of dry chickens. If you like what we're doing out here, please subscribe and leave a comment.